Hey guys, oh, it's afternoon now. I think it's like noon. Say hi. We're in the new living room. You guys, I love this living room. If you guys haven't seen the living room makeover, I'll leave it linked as always. But a lot of you guys have and are commenting such nice things. I'm so happy that you liked it, especially with my own home. I am more of a texture person than a color person. I get over a color really quickly. If it's not like really jewel toned or just taupey or black, I'm not gonna like it. I'm gonna get over it. I'm gonna wanna redo spaces. And I really wanted this living room to be just epic <laughs> you guys look at this space like look at these pillows everything i love them so much i am going to be doing some updates so if you guys watched the video you saw that like i got pretty far on the pieces of art but i feel like with sometimes with art i need to sit with it for a little bit i need to like look at it and i actually was <laughs> getting kind of scared to add any color to it or add some darkness to the neutral palette I, it just I, I didn't know and I wasn't ready so that's okay so I put them on the wall there they are so I hung them up I did like a black border around it you see and yes it was totally intentional for the black to go and creep onto the front of the of the painting and that is because I wanted to go back and soften it, but I wanted it to look organic. So if there's this perfectly framed black edge, Kinsley, if there's this perfectly framed black edge, then you don't really give, give an organic feel. So that was intentional. And I just want to go back and kind of soften it a little bit. I wanted them dramatic power pieces. Oh, and this coffee table, you guys, this might be my favorite wood piece that I've ever made. You see the pattern on it? I made the wood pieces go every which direction. So I have three pieces going straight, and then these pieces kind of coming in at that kind of angle, and then these coming up like this. And it looks so cool. If you guys did watch the video, you saw that I was going to be getting in a vintage Turkish rug that I found on Etsy and it's from like the 1960s online it looked beautiful my initial plan for in here was to layer the rug that we're going to do when we get back from sammy's sammy's camera so sammy's is like a candy store for photography and video people and youtubers like i've been having a lot of audio issues lately and i have spent an exorbitant amount of money trying to fix it and i don't know what i'm doing wrong and i think and I never had these problems before. And I think the source is my camera. I think something's wrong with my camera uh, because there's no way that a $500 mic still gives me problems that my cheaper one did. So I think it's something with the connections. We also hit 500,000 subscribers on the main channel, which is absolutely insane. You guys, this is, cr it's crazy. I'm blown away, grateful. We definitely are gonna celebrate. I asked you guys on Instagram yesterday what we should do, whether that's gonna be like an Instagram live and a giveaway, like a virtual room makeover for some people, something like that. With COVID, obviously I can't do in-person room makeovers, but we can do it virtually. So comment below what you guys think. If you don't follow me on Instagram, like let me know here what you guys think. Any and all ideas are welcome. So we're gonna grab cameras. Um, grab my list and head to Sammy's. She's not going. Kinsley, look at the way she's sitting. She's the cutest stinking thing. Kinsley. Oh my God. Hello, I like the way you're sitting. You're cute. my gosh you guys okay it is 2 12. i was in sammy's for no joke an hour and a half they are the most helpful people ever i got so many of my issues solved i don't that's i should have done that a long time ago instead of thinking i could learn everything on the internet it was so worth it so i'm gonna do an unboxing when we get home i just pulled up at juice crafters to get some acai bowls for romeo and i oh, i want to eat first oh, oh ah! hot day this is the best meal look at that oh acai with almond butter and granola and banana she wants to play 
Mm, I love it. Okay. I'm going to eat real quick, and then we're going to do an unboxing. <laughs> so they helped me a lot with trying to figure out my mic situation. And the settings were wrong on my camera. Of course they were. And some other things. Um, so that was a big improvement on my existing cameras. But I've been using the Canon 80D camera the whole time since I've started doing YouTube. I'm going to show you if you keep... <laughs> show me what? <laughs> You're gonna show me? Yeah. He's mocking me behind the camera. Oh, I am. <laughs> so I've been using this since I started, so over two years, and it's been very good to me, but I've been using the stock lens, which is the lowest you can go this whole time. I had a lot of questions for them. I really wanted to invest in a wide angle lens. Um, I really wanted to up my audio, and I wanted just an overall better camera because I also want to take better pictures. <sighs> so let's see what we got. Okay, so our first investment, Canon Mark II 60 camera. I think with investing in any kind of like technology or stuff like this is to do your research beforehand. I had already looked at what kind of cameras were best for both photography and videography because I, I needed to do equally both. From my research, it was between the 6D and the R, which is their mirrorless series. The problem that I always have with doing videos is stabilization. So it's shaky footage. So if it's like, like that, since I move around a lot, I'm doing room makeovers, I really needed something that was gonna be as stable as possible. Just with capabilities with like lenses and stuff, this was the way to go. Um, so we got a new camera. Another big reason I wanted to invest in another camera is that now I can have this one filming me at one angle like this, and then another one filming my DIYs like this. So I've got two going at the same time, which so helps me speed up the filming process. I don't have to keep stopping and moving the camera and doing all sorts of stuff. The 60 actually comes with the 24 to 105 lens, which is more of a zoom lens, um, which I actually did want in addition to getting a wide angle lens. So this is a Tamron and Tamron, 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 I'm not sure. And it is a 15 to 30 millimeter lens. She looks like that. You always want a lens that's gonna capture as much of what you're taking a picture of or a video of as possible. Creating content, seeing everything rather than really up, like really up close type shots, you wanna be able to see it. So it's like, that, that's the difference. The next thing is when I do room makeovers, I'm walking around a lot. You know, I'm in one corner of the room and I'm back there and the audio is always really hard because I'm constantly moving away from my audio source, which is on the camera. So if I'm across the room, it's gonna be super low, but then when I'm like right next to it talking to you guys like this, it's really like high and loud. So I knew that I needed to eventually invest in a lav, a lav mic, lav, lav mic, which you've seen them probably on like newscasters and stuff, like they wear them. So the mic is actually attached to my body and then wireless to my camera. So we did that too. Look at it. Oh, look, baby. <laughs> he's, he's like not interested. It's hot. Almond butter makes your cheeks sticky. He says when he eats french fries, like makes his face feel sticky. That's weird, huh? Yeah, that's weird. What is that? Is that a thing? Is that like a real? Does it actually make your face feel sticky? Yes. Yes, like right here. Like on your cheeks, you yeah, feel I eat too much of it. Like, what do you too mean sticky? Starch. Starch, oh, too right? much starch. Yeah, that's starch, right? That is. Makes your face feel sticky. Like, like mashed potatoes. Like, or... yeah, it's just like. This is lens number one. So this is the twenty-four to one hundred five lens. So this is the zoom lens. Hello, hello. Hello. Look at this. Oh my god. That looks like a coffee mug, a traveler mug. <laughs> it's beautiful! I'm obsessed. We stepped up our game today. Wow. I'm gonna cut from this camera to this camera. Oh my it's so wide. You can see everything. You guys, I am blown away. Okay, well there was our little haul. So excited to open this. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, I hope it's pretty, I hope it's pretty, but like obviously 
It's from online. This Etsy shop had great reviews. Everyone that got everything from them was like, the rugs are super clean. I'll leave it linked because they have like a lot of different sizes. Obviously they're all unique. How'd they even get it in this package? <laughs> it's like, relax. <laughs> Could it be pretty? I do not. <laughs> I feel like this is bigger. Okay, let me lay it down. Oh, it was folded the right way. <gasps> really stinking pretty like i don't know if it goes yet but it's really pretty the color is stronger here and then it fades out over there oh my gosh okay it's the perfect fit i wanted it to be three by five to go on top of my five by eight that's in here and i could actually probably move this rug out just a tad but I don't want this rug to get dirty because this is a high traffic kind of area for us. So I didn't want it to come out too far here. Excuse our fan, it's hot. Um, but maybe a, t a tinge more, like a few inches would be okay because I think I have a few inches to go. So I could kind of like pull it out a little bit and then pull it away from the fireplace hearth. But it also really matches the color palette in the mantle and then the wall color has a tinge of green too and then like with the taupey look how pretty like that's really pretty and with all of these i feel like the only thing that's really kind of clashing for me is the beige black pillows and this kinsley what do you think do you love it let's move the coffee table back and see what it looks like oh i'm kind of into it for right now it's a three by five rug I could probably use this anywhere if I love the color and it's faded enough to where it's not super in your face patterned. It's more textured, which I love. So I bit the bullet and was like, I could use it here. If it doesn't work there, I'll use it somewhere else. You guys comment below what you think. I kind of do love it. And then I also think that it's pretty without it. Next up, I'm gonna get some white paint. And we're going to kind of soften these harsh black edges on the front. This is just white gallery that I've used like throughout this house to fix trim. And so I wanna just kind of go over these edges that you can see that are black and pale them out. I'm gonna freehand it. <laughs> Come on. What I'm realizing is this white, it and then here's the actual joint compound natural color. You see how it's kind of creamy and this is like not. So let's put some white and then just a little bit. And this is the nomadic desert that I used in the video. I'm hoping it gives us like a bone color. Here's the color that I got. So now you can see it's slightly more bone color, so I think it'll look a little better. Okay, so I almost did like a dry brush. So you can see how it's still black comes over, but it's a lot more subtle. And then once I go back with another color, it'll kind of all start to blend. But now if I scoot back, it's so slight, but you can kind of see how this feels, this now feels bigger than that one because it, this was kind of closing it in a little bit. So my mom was right, my mom, moms are always right. Okay, so I went back over it with some more of the same kind of coloring so that it kind of blended a little more, just adding more layers, I feel like. The more layers, the better on, I think, this kind of art. But then you can see from the side, it still looks dramatic. So here are the gray ones that I have. I have steel gray, thunder gray, which is like more of a warm gray, and then neutral gray value five, but let's try steel gray and then go from there. No need to give it up. Just need Added to some gray, go. not a ton, but a little bit. I don't really like it. And do you like the gray in that picture now? Cause see, I kind of think it looks dirty. Actually, maybe no gray. Oh, see me too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe I'm just not doing the gray right, but definitely think fixing the border helped and 
like helped it clean up a lot. At least we tried. At least it's just paint. You can just cover it up. I just, I had a gut feeling. I just wasn't gonna like it. I like them neutral. Okay, we're back. Ugh, still needs to dry and I kind of need to wash it out a little more, but okay. I hope you guys enjoyed our adventure today. Major accomplishment was fixing the mic problems. I'm really excited to shoot the next DIY video with the new equipment, which will be DIY industrial decor, a style guide. So I've been doing style guides in different styles and DIYs for those styles on my channel. I love doing that series. So we've done Scandinavian, mid-century modern, obviously lots of bohemian, and then the industrial decor will come out this weekend. So I'm gonna start working on that. Actually got a really big filming week this week, so. <laughs> got a lot to do. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I'm actually going to edit this vlog tonight and get it up for you guys tomorrow. I will see you guys on Sunday for a DIY video over on the main channel and another vlog next week. Bye guys. I feel like these are my most favorite home goods find ever. These pillows are awesome. They had it in other colors too, so hit up your local home goods.